Hey, what's up? It's your girl Steph LaCour, First Lady, we the best, and right now you're rocking with my boy, some guy named Jay on Southeast Hip Hop. Really appreciate it. The turnout is dope. I'm really excited. Um, I feel like, well, first let me introduce myself, right? My name is Steph LaCour, I'm the First Lady, we the best, and um, everybody's been showing me so much love, so I'm really excited, like I said, again, to be here. I feel like maybe we should drop the record. And I don't know, have you guys all heard the record? First I before? bought it, yeah. You bought it? That's me, Damiachi. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, right? Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much for showing up. So Absolutely. let's just drop the record. And um, and after, you know, if you guys don't ask me any questions, I'd love to answer any questions you got. And I want to meet everybody. <laughs> Weed is fun, it's young, it's energetic. I like to do a lot of those things too <laughs> on a Saturday, so you know, hit him, ha ha. <laughs> if you guys have any questions for me, I'd love to answer them. Nobody, don't be shy. I just hug everybody. Like we're past the point of being shy with each other. How much for a verse? How much, Dizzy? How much for a verse? <laughs> Dizzy, D I Z Z Y at gmail.com. He makes me because I'm like, how did I meet DJ Khaled? Um, e Class was my manager, Po Boy Music Group. He um he set the play up after he played the record Saturday for me. I didn't know he was gonna play it for Khaled, and he did the next day. And then Khaled met me the day after, and he just put his personal chain on my neck and was like, "Yo, we the best." And it's been like maybe four months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With Po Boy, and I still do. Um, the difference is, is I was in a group before this. And the group was called Culture Shock, and we did like EDM, heavy dance kind of music. There's a lot of music out there right now. Like it's been six, seven years I was with them. So if you ever look us up, it was Culture Shock with a K. And um, and it just didn't work out. You know, the boys. It was me and two guys. And the boys just life happened. You know, we're tired. It, it's hard to be a struggling artist. You know, for too long. And seven years is a long time to be struggling, especially when you're men and you got families and things to do. So. They went and ventured out and are making bank, and I'm out here still being a struggling artist trying to get it. So you know, anyone? How does the experience feel? Surreal. For real? Yeah, it's Were you surreal. Scared? No, no. I'm, I feel very prepared. You know, just because I've been doing it a little over ten years, um, in the game trying to like make it. So I feel like I feel like it's my time, and there's no room for like being scared. I mean, I get moments of like, this is gonna, this is happening. Like the first time I went to radio with a single and I did an interview, I was a little, I was very nervous. And then it became overwhelming. And then I was like, don't cry here, don't cry here in front of these people. They're gonna think you're crazy. So, um, it's surreal. Yeah. I want to tell you something. Yes. Two months ago, I was one of the first, or the first to break your video when you dropped. I just wanted to let you know. <laughs> he wanted his props. I want to let you know. Yes. You thank like you. Many entertainment artists on the level. No, of course. Of course. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. And I do appreciate everyone. I know like some of you have heard the record before and have been playing it and like I'm really super appreciative and like you DJs out there, like I know if it wasn't for you guys spinning it before it got to radio, it would never even have made it on the mix show. So like for real, thank you guys. Yeah, I got two questions. Shoot. Uh yeah, one, uh what's what's some of your inspirations? And the second one, uh, can I get a drop after you ask that? Of course. <laughs> um, we can do a drop. We can. I think inspirations um, musically. I guess starting. I, I started when I was like three. My dad used to be in a Haitian band. I'm Haitian, so my dad used to be in a Haitian band, and I used to. Um, I used to like sit on a little stool and like play. So I was inspired at an early age, like just watching them perform and like creating music, and then growing up, you know, like what Mariah Carey, of course, Ooh. and. My girl. <laughs> the, ooh. Yes, yes. So yeah, Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston, Etta James. But I like like Bob Marley. I like a lot of Haitian um, bands too. And my main inspiration now is my son. I'm a single mom, and like I think that like if it weren't for him, I wouldn't be so driven. You know. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>